Traverse Village is served by a geo exchange, geothermal heat and cooling system. Individual unit types are console, vertical, and horizontal and are controlled by individual thermostats in each residence. In the original 1100 ton installation, Tempmaster provided 120 of its electric specialty heat pumps and Command Air provided 407 units. In geology, geothermal refers to heat sources within the planet. Why geothermal? Outdoor air temperatures fluctuate throughout the year with the changing seasons. In contrast, ground temperatures about four to six feet deep below the Earth's surface remain relatively moderate and constant all year. In our area, that's about 57 degrees. That's because the Earth absorbs 47 percent of all the heat energy that reaches its surface from the Sun. Geothermal systems save us up to 70 percent on White Horse monthly utility bills. A geothermal system circulates a water-based solution through a buried loop system to take advantage of these constant temperatures. A single piece of equipment has the ability to heat and cool your home. Vertical ground closed loops are used at Whitehorse. This type of loop is used when you want to disrupt the landscape as little as possible. Vertical holes 150 to 450 feet deep much like wells, are bored in the ground and a single loop of pipe with a U-bend at the bottom is inserted before the hole is backfilled. Each vertical pipe is then connected to a horizontal underground pipe that carries fluid in a closed system to and from the indoor exchange unit. Vertical loops are generally more expensive to install but require less piping than horizontal loops because the earth's surface surface temperature is more stable further below the surface. Remember, a geothermal heat pump doesn't create heat by burning fuel like a furnace does. Instead, in winter it collects the Earth's natural heat through a series of pipes, called a loop, installed below the surface of the ground. Fluid circulates through the loop and carries the heat to the house. There, an electrically driven compressor and a heat exchanger concentrate the Earth's energy and release it inside the home at a higher temperature. Ductwork distributes the heat to different rooms. During the heating cycle, the fluid circulates through the loop, extracting heat from the ground. The heat energy is transferred to the geothermal unit. The unit compresses the extracted heat to a higher temperature and delivers it to your home through a normal duct system. For cooling, the process is simply reversed because the earth is much cooler than the air temperatures on a hot day. The underground loop draws excess heat from the house and allows it to be absorbed by the earth. The system cools your home in the same way that a refrigerator keeps your food cool, by drawing heat from the interior, not by blowing in cold air. The geothermal loop that is buried underground is typically made of high density polypropylene, a tough plastic that is extraordinarily durable but which allows heat to pass through efficiently. When installers connect sections of pipe, they heat fuse the joints, making the connection stronger than the pipe itself. The fluid in the loop is water that circulates through the pipes in a closed system. This is a type of geothermal unit found in the building's apartments and in the garden cottages at Whitehorse Village. The components are similar in most units. Today there are more than one million geo exchange installations in the United States. The current use of geothermal heat pump technology has resulted in the following emissions reductions. Elimination of 
million metric tons of CO2 annually. Elimination of more than 1.6 million metric tons of carbon equivalent annually. These 1 million installations have also resulted in the following energy consumption reductions. Annual savings of nearly 8,000 gigawatt hours. Annual savings of nearly 40 trillion BTUs of fossil fuels. Reduced electricity demand by more than 2.6 gigawatts. The impact of the current use of geo exchange is equivalent to taking close to 1,295,000 cars off the road, planting more than 385 million trees, reducing the U.S. reliance on imported fuels by 21.5 million barrels of crude oil per year.